Today we're looking at my War of the Worlds Martian. This is released by Pegasus Hobbies. They have a lot of great kits coming out, particularly from the War of the Worlds, both the 1953 version from here and the 2005 version. And I picked this up. Oh, it took me probably three weeks to get it done. The Martian is painted totally in acrylics. That's due to the plastic he's molded in. Will only um, you can only use acrylics, water-based acrylics on him. And he was a lot of fun to do. Uh, let's take a look here. You can see the base down here. It says the War of the Worlds. Over here we have the electronic eye with some debris. And the rest of the eye there. And the Martian himself. I put a wash on him to bring out the extra detail work. That was followed up by some dry brushing of the veins which are with a dark gray acrylic. The eye there. I love the pose. This plastic, if you dip it in water, you can bend it and then put it in cold water very quickly and the plastic will re retain the shape. This is, of course, from the scene in the farm where the alien has a light, uh, flashlight shine in his face. And over here we have some books which give the Martian pretty good scale. The red one says The War of the Worlds, which was a pretty cool nod. The blue one says to serve man, which is also another sci-fi nod from the Twilight Zone, where the book to serve man was revealed as a cookbook. And this is my Martian. A lot of fun to do. You could hollow out the area behind his eye there, and if you choose to do so, you can put a light back there. I didn't want to do that with mine, but he was a lot of fun, quick easy build, and I finished him off with a coat, a dull coat, to protect the paint and kind of give him a warm reddish hue to his skin. You can't really see that here. But it was a great kit. I can't wait for their kits coming out later this year. And I thank you for watching.